Hello everybody! Welcome to my trivia channel from here in rainy Yorktown, Virginia. Finally, we had 19 straight days without a drop in the rain gauge, so we need it. So, happy Thanksgiving Eve, Eve. It's November 21st, 2023, two days before Thanksgiving. And I've read a lot of comments over the past few years that a lot of people from Europe and America can't convert quickly to from meters to feet. They go, please tell me what the meter, uh, what it is in feet, or please tell me what it is in meters. So I thought, uh, light bulb, like the coyote, uh, I was going to catch the road runner, right? I said, I will come up with a little system, which I have invented, called the Hamilton system. Pretty original, right? And I'm going to show it to you. And it, it's, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but it doesn't take that long. Once you can do it, you can do this pretty much in your head, unless you're really, really bad at math. But I think the average person could do this. Oh, by the way, this is a trivia and urban legends channel. So today's trivia question, the metric system that you Europeans love <laughs> was, was invented in 1795. What year was the imperial system, also known as the British system, which we still love in America, invented? A, 1626, B, 1726, C, 1826, or D, uh, 1825, uh, excuse me, 1795, the same year as the metric system, or E, scientists have no idea. And I'll get back to that. Okay, now let's go over a couple examples converting meters to feet. Now, the first thing you need to know is that one yard equals three feet. Okay, so three feet equals one yard in the, in the American system, the British or imperial system, we'll call it. Um, and a meter is not that much different than a yard. See, so a lot of people, you may not know that. A meter is 39.36 inches, 39.37 inches, we'll round it. So a meter is only 3.37 inches more than a yard. Okay, does that make sense? So once you realize a meter and a, feet, a, meter and a yard aren't too much off, you need to know that. So a meter, a little more than three feet. Okay, so let me give you an example of what you do. So let's say... 300 feet. Okay, now how, um, excuse me, 300 meters. How many feet is 300 meters? Well, feet are smaller than meters, so you know there's going to be more. So simply multiply by three. So in your head, you should be able to do that. Three times 300 is 900, okay? And now you're not quite there yet. Now here's a little bit of the tricky part. What you want to do is you want to take 10% of that new total that you've got, the 900. So this isn't perfectly accurate. It might be like 8 or 9 percent or 11 or 12 percent, but the reason I do 10 percent is that way you can just take off a zero. Most people can do that in their head, right? So you've got 900, so take 10 percent of 900, just knock off that back zero and you got 90, right? And add the 900 and the 90 together. There's your answer. 300 feet 300 meters equals 990 feet. And I wrote that down. The actual real answer is 300 feet. I mean, excuse me, 300 meters is 984 meters. So you're really close on that. 990 to 984. So you came within six. That's not bad, is it? Huh? That's not bad for just a quick... Okay, let's try another one. Um... Let's say 1,200 feet to meter. So we're going to go the other way this time, right? So 1,200, it's a little trickier because you're dividing instead of multiplying. So 1,200 feet divide by 3, and you got 400. So that's, that's kind of getting there. But then you want to take 10% of your new total, 10% of your 400, which is what? Just knock, knock off the zero. And a 400, you got 40. Okay, so now you got 400 and subtract the 40. Don't add it this time since you're going in reverse. Subtract the 40 and you're 360. So 1,200 feet equals 360 meters. And let me see how close we are. And 1,200 feet exactly is 365.8 meters. So you're within 5.8. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Not bad. The Hamilton system. It's amazing. Okay, here's another one. Zero feet equals how many meters? Uh, zero. Okay, you hang on with that one, right? Zero meters equals how many feet? 
Zero. Okay, you guys know. So, um, but let's try another one. All right, let's do 10 meters to feet. Okay, 10 meters to feet. You think of a track runner. So, oh, hey, buddy. Well, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm being interrupted by boxer kisses. Hello, did you have your food? Okay, oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, oh, so 10 meters to feet. Now, what do you do when you go meters to feet? You're going to multiply, right? So multiply by three. And you multiply by three, and that's 30. And then um, now, now you've got your new total is 30. So you want to take 10% of that, and 10% of 30 is three. So add three. What are you doing? I know you're prettier than I am. But. So add three to 30, 33, and 10 meters is 32.8 feet. So you're only off by 0.2, huh? Okay, so that's it. Keep practicing. Write any comments in the bo uh, down below, and I'll answer them. I answer. I try to answer all my comments. And uh, happy Thanksgiving week. And we'll see you for the next video. Goodbye. Hey, buddy. You want to be on camera? You want to be on camera? Can I get up? Can I get up? Oh, what's that over there? Is that a turtle? He found a turtle in the yard today. She's all excited about this box turtle that's been out there. He won't hurt it, but he, he wants to play with it out there. This is Mr. Banks. Hello. What you doing, buddy? What, can you say hello? Say Banks. Banks, can you say roof? Oh, good boy sitting. Look at that good boy. Good boy. Can you say roof? Oh, you're just being so good. Okay, see you for the next video. Say bye, Mr. Banks.